Divalprox is one of the medication which is classified as anti-epileptic drug. It is not a single drug. Instead, it is a mixture of valproic acid and its sodium salt. So, Divalprox is a 1 is to 1 combination of valproic acid and sodium valproate. Divalprox can reduce the neuronal conductivity. Thereby, it can be used in the treatment of manic episodes in the bipolar disorder. Mania is a condition of hyper excitability due to the overstimulation of few of the neurons. Since divalproex can reduce the neuronal activity, it can reduce the manic phase in the bipolar disorder. And in the bipolar disorder, the mood swings from mania to depression and vice versa. Therefore, divalproex can be used to reduce the hyper excitability that is the manic phase in the treatment of bipolar disorder. Another clinical use of this medication is to control complex partial seizures. It can be used as monotherapy or it can be combined with other medications to reduce complex partial seizures. This medication works by multiple mechanisms. Therefore, it is useful in the treatment of multiple types of seizures, including absent seizures. Another clinical indication of Divalproex is in the prophylaxis of migraine headaches. Migraine involves a neuronal stimulation which induces many symptoms including cluster headaches and these migraine attacks are associated with excessive neuronal stimulation. Therefore, divalproex can be used in the prophylaxis that means it can be used to prevent the number of migraine attacks in the people. So, today in this video, let us discuss about the key facts of Divalproex. First of all, let us see how this medication works. Divalproex is a combination of valproic acid and sodium valproate. That means when it is administered into the body, it is going to be released as valproic acid. So, most of the actions of Divalproex are due to valproic acid. This medication can inhibit the neuronal activity by multiple mechanisms. One of its action is to block voltage-gated sodium channels. When these channels are blocked, it reduces the neuronal conduction as well as excitation. It can also block few of the calcium channels that are also involved in the neurotransmitter release. Another important action of Divalproex is to increase the action of GABA. GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the CNS. And it can control the excitatory response. Divalproex can increase the GABA action by acting on the GABA receptors just like an agonist. It can also increase the GABA release. By all these actions, it can increase the inhibitory response. Thereby, it can control neuronal excitation. Now, let us the precautions of this medication. Divalproex is associated with risk of hepatotoxicity. Particularly, the risk is more pronounced in the children with ages less than 2 years. With this, it can produce few symptoms like weakness, lack of energy, a state of discomfort can be produced. It can also produce loss of appetite, facial edema and vomiting. In people with epilepsy, a loss of seizure control can also be observed. Therefore, these symptoms should be closely monitored and in case of any suspicion, serum liver test should be done. And this is particularly more important during the first six months of the treatment. Divalproex can increase the risk of ammonia levels in the blood, this condition called hyperammonemia. If these ammonia levels are excessively elevated, it can produce the encephalopathy that results in brain dysfunction. It can also reduce the cognitive performance. It is highly serious condition that should be closely monitored. This may develop few symptoms like uh, abnormal lethargy, lack of energy, excessive vomiting along with some changes in the mental status. In such conditions, ammonia level should be immediately monitored. And in case of hyperammonemia, this medication should be immediately discontinued. Divalproex can also affect the function of pancreas. In a few people, it can produce pancreatitis inflammation of the pancreas and this condition may be developed shortly after the initial use or sometimes it may be developed after several years of the use. In case of pancreatitis, few symptoms like severe abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting and anorexia can be observed. In such conditions, a medical examination should be done to check the development of pancreatitis and if it is confirmed, the drug may be discontinued. 
Divalprex is a teratogenic substance. Therefore, when it is given to the pregnant woman or woman of childbearing age, it can produce few of the fetal toxic effects. It may produce a neural tube defects and they can produce cognitive impairment in the newborns. That's why Divalprex is strictly contraindicated in the pregnant woman or woman of childbearing age. Divalprex can reduce your body temperature so it can produce hypothermia. This condition may be either associated with elevated levels of ammonia or it may not be associated. Therefore, even with normal levels of ammonia, a reduction in the body temperature can be observed and particularly this effect can be more pronounced when divalprex is combined with other anti-epileptic drugs like topiramate. Divalprex can affect your CNS and it can produce central depression. This may reduce few of the physical and mental abilities. Particularly it can produce somnolence, sleepiness in the people. This effect is more pronounced in the elders. That's why when it is used in the elders, it should be started at a low dose initially and the dose may be slowly increased along with proper nutritional and fluid intake. That's why with Dival Prex, people may have reduced cognitive as well as mental abilities. However, these effects are reversible. They can be restored after stopping of the doses. Another important effect of Dival Prex is the hypersensitive reactions. Even though they are not common in all people, but in a few people, they can produce hypersensitive reactions leading to angioedema. This results in the swelling of face, lips and tongue. Few people may also have serious skin rashes. And in case of any development of skin rash after use of Divalprex, immediately the drug should be stopped because it may indicate a serious hypersensitive reaction. Now let us the side effects of this medication. Few of the common side effects of Divalprex are mainly due to valproic acid. It can produce nausea, headache, and lack of energy. People may have somnolence leading to sleepiness and drowsiness. Few other side effects like tremor, dizziness can also be observed. Abdominal pain, loss of appetite, blurred vision and double vision can also be observed. Flu-like symptoms may be developed after use of Divalprex for prolonged periods. Now let us see the doses of this medication. Divalprex is available as two types of formulations delayed release tablets as well as extended release tablets. It's also available as a capsule filled as sprinkles. However, the release of this medication from these formulations are different. Therefore, the dosage is based on the body weight. Normally, for the management of manic phase in the bipolar disorder, Divalprex can be used at a dose of 750 mg per day given in divided doses. So, whenever this Divalprex extended release tablets are used. They can be used at a dose of 25 mg per kg of body weight. They are given once daily. In the treatment of epilepsy for treating complex partial seizures, it can be used at a dose range of 10 to 15 mg per kg as a daily dose initially. For migraine prophylaxis, Valprex extended release tablets are given at a dose of 500 mg once a day for one week. The dose may be adjusted based on the clinical response. So that's all about the medication Divalprex. I hope this video is useful to you. If you really like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.